How toxic are trihalomethanes in chlorinated swimming pools and how can you lower their risk? Trihalomethanes, known as THMs, are a byproduct of the water treatment process when chlorine comes into contact with organic matter. In humans, bladder and colon cancers, as well as asthma and reproductive issues are linked to high long-term exposure of THMs. The cancer risk assessment of THM exposure in swimmers at the highest and average concentrations is classified by researchers as an unacceptable risk and needs to be improved. Research indicates that our bodies absorb the most trihalomethanes through inhalation rather than dermal or oral absorption. When pools have a strong odor, this is a sign that there are higher concentrations of THMs present. I want to highlight that the overall risk and likelihood of developing cancer from THMs at the current exposure level for the general population is low. Here are four things you can do to lower the risk of THMs and protect your health. The first is to quickly shower or wash before you go swimming in a chlorinated pool. Showering will ensure that there is no dirt or debris that will cause the release of THMs in the water. This leads into the second tip to apply an oil onto your skin to create a barrier between it and the chlorinated pool. The shower and oil will also hydrate your skin to prevent it from absorbing more of the chlorinated water that would ultimately dry out your skin. Third, use a neutralizing spray on your skin with vitamin C immediately after swimming. Very small concentrations of azorbic acid rapidly reduce oxidizing chlorine compounds. You could apply this before swimming too, but it will neutralize the chlorine in the pool. And lastly, shower with soap as soon as possible once you're done swimming. Comment what else you would add to this list below.